This is the VMC Everest. It is a uh, light electric pickup truck, carries about a thousand pounds. It'll go about a hundred miles on a charge. This is a highway ready truck, so this isn't a low speed vehicle. This is one you can drive on the highway. Regular gas today is about $3.45 a gallon. On $3.45 worth of electricity, you can go about 300 miles. This is going in production in three months. And where will it be produced? It'll be produced in Michigan. Michigan. And uh, when will they be ready to be sold? It should be ready to be sold uh, early summer, mid-summer. The idea is uh, this will go into fleet sales first, light delivery service, auto parts, locksmiths, florists, drugs, and then it'll be available to the consumer. Let's go for a drive. You have to poke your head in first. Okay. Once you're inside, it's got a lot of room. Yes. Kind of dashboard, it looks very similar to... To a Chevette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Makes a little bit of noise for the vacuum pump to run the uh, power brakes. And then it just drives just like a normal gasoline powered vehicle. Has a little different sound to it. Shifts gears just like a normal vehicle. Corners really well. Very easy to drive. It does have a, a bit of a high pitch whine to it, doesn't it? Well, you know, a gasoline powered motor would turn between 2,000 and 3,500 RPM. We're running up to around 7,000 RPM with an electric motor. But uh, motors are very balanced, so it's easy to, to get around. It has a lot of torque. Of course, when I let off the accelerator, I'm not using any energy at all. So that's how we get the uh, long range out of these vehicles. They're so light and they're so smooth. How much weight can one of these things carry? This will carry about a thousand pounds. Really depends on how you load it. Um, most, like a Ford Ranger or something like that, you can carry about 600 pounds in it safely. This one you can carry about uh, about a thousand pounds. Is there uh, any plans to build a uh, car as well, or is this just primarily truck? There are plans to build a car. Uh, we realize that we're a small company, and so we're going into a market that we know very well, and then we'll have by ourselves for a couple of years, and then we'll come out with our electric cars. The VMC Everest will recharge itself by direct sunlight, uh, so if you uh, aren't close to a charging station, you can just leave it in the sun and it'll recharge itself. Is that what the other one has? The other one has that, and uh, the uh, box van, which has a, a box on the back, actually can recharge itself completely in a single day. How much do you think one of these things would, would cost once you're ready to sell them? This one will run around twenty-five to $28,000, depending on if you have air conditioning or not. The box van is about $33,000. After rebate, you're in at um, $26,000, $27,000. You're saving $300 to $400 a month in fuel, so it pays for itself in less than two years. Now, you said you had two of these. This one's DC operated, the other one's AC. Is there a purpose for that? Yeah, experimentation. Uh, some of the AC motors claim to be more efficient. Uh, admittedly, they put out uh, more, uh, more kilowatts per pound. The problem is they have not solved the overheating problem. So we also stick with the DC because the field that is generated when the kilowatts are expended to accelerate the vehicle is a much more peaceful feeling than it is with the AC. It, let's say the power goes out in your house. Is this something that you could plug into your house? Yes, you could actually create a what's called vehicle to grid system for your house. You put an inverter in your house system. If your power goes out, you have essential services you have to run in your home or office or business. You just plug the truck in and the kilowatts that are in the batteries will then run your facility for a number of hours until the power comes back on. And I assume the duration would be based upon the number of kilowatt hours you're consuming in your house. Absolutely. But most houses, if you're not running air conditioning or electric heat, will run for days and days off of the electricity in one of these battery packs. Anything else you'd like to add about this car and your company? 
Uh, I think it's uh, about to change the way we drive in America. Not so much between cities, but inside the city, inside our other 90% of the driving that we do. Uh, you can make all those trips without using any petroleum at all. What's your website? It is mynewev.com.